Debugging is a unique and essential skill that's similar but different to regular coding. As you've just seen, there are a lot of options to choose from and you will, I promise, use all of them at some point. Yes, even print. So in this project, you've learned how to use print more thoroughly. You've seen assertions. You've added breakpoints, including conditional breakpoints. And we looked at briefly view debugging too. There's lots more to learn about debugging, such as the step into and step out commands. But realistically, you need to start with what you have before trying to venture any further. I would much rather you mastered three of the debugging tools available to you rather than having a weak grasp of all of them. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. So I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, temporarily try adding an exception breakpoint to project one, then changing the call to instantiate view controller to use the storyboard identifier bad. This will fail, but your exception breakpoint should catch it. Second, in project one, add a call to assert in the view did load method of detailviewcontroller.swift checking that selected image always has a value. And third, go back to project five and try adding a conditional breakpoint to the start of the submit method that pauses only if the user submits a word with six or more letters.